So like I said, this is a lot of model kit. It's amazing. I'm really surprised I fit the entire thing on the table to some degree. It was a really tight fit. And looking at all these pieces, the uh, center line is just about 28 inches long. It's 27, 29 on the sides, I think I read. So, uh, I just still can't believe it. Some of the defects do present themselves now that the parts are going together, and I'll show you as I get to them. But uh, overall, this is a really like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I've seen a few dozen resin kits, and uh, detail quality-wise, granted it depends on the subject matter too, but I would not have thought some of the details I've seen in the trenches here, for example, or the consistency of the scribing on the overall hull to even be possible with a resin kit. This is absolutely stunning, and we're definitely going to look at every piece in detail. So I've decided to uh, leave these bagged pieces bagged, except for the engines. Those are coming out for their close-ups. And uh, not only will we be taking a look at the top sides of them, but we'll be looking at the bottom sides too, because this is really well engineered, and uh, that definitely deserves a close look on a lot of cases, because of all the work that went into it. So, what I'll probably wind up doing is, I want to, I got to put this away for several months. It's going to hurt. I got to say that. I already know already. This is a kit that will be lit. And if I can manage it, I'm going to rig up some mounting points for filming so I can really do this one right. The MPC model that I had in lit, that was practice for a bigger version. And this is definitely a bigger version. So, in order to repack everything over here, we'll be starting with these nice big flat pieces, we'll do the trenches, and uh, see how things go from there. I don't expect I'll get it exactly right, but uh, we're definitely going to have a good look while I do it. So, let me get the tripod, and we'll continue.